Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with my WWE Hell in a Cell uh, 2017, I always forgot the year, um, predictions. I will also, um, but as you've noticed with my recent videos, I've been uploading my streams from Twitch, which I've been getting into for the past couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going to do one today, like even with these, but I thought I'd just like tell them as they are now. Um, so, you know, you won't have to sit through like a 15 minute match to figure out who I've got for what. Um, going into this, I don't really ha like, I don't have high expectations, but sometimes that is a good thing because some pay per views can be better than expected when you aren't expecting much from it. Uh, that's why I've got like one, one of the things I have with like some people nowadays, like wrestling fan wise. Is they'll build up some like pay per view or something be so amazing, and then when it happens, it's like, oh, that could have been better. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a bad cough. Um, but yeah, it's just like, you know, if you go into something not expecting too much, then it can turn out to be brilliant. Um, like WrestleMania 33, I thought was actually really good, but everyone obviously because the end result, Roman beat Undertaker, just suddenly shit on the whole thing. Um, but like some people, I think Battleground actually did it this year as well. Like I didn't expect much from Battleground, but it was actually really good. Um, but yeah, so Hell in a Cell, not really expecting much. Some matches, uh, Hell in a Cell would be a bit of logic, but for some reason they haven't gone with it. But I'll go through the match card with you and my predictions. So uh, kick off well, the pre-show, whatever. Um, Sean Benjamin and Chad Gable versus the Hype Bros. Kind of obvious it's going to be Shelton and Chad because past few weeks the story has been the hype bros aren't winning and maybe they go their own separate ways to so change something up uh maybe leading to Zack Ryder heel turn which I won't be against um there's really no purpose for this match just filler I guess um yeah uh Chad and Shelton is just the obvious choice um I'm probably not going to watch it if I'm honest um but it's going to be interesting I might have to do Chad and Jason Jordan for the uh for the predictions because obviously they aren't on the game unfortunately um then we've got shame at man versus kevin owens which i'm hoping is the main event it's a false count anywhere on the cell match which sort of implies that the pinfall could take place just outside the ring or like outside the cell does seem a bit pointless to go oh it's false count anywhere it's like oh okay cool well at least the thing that i'm happy with this is there's a good chance they're going to break out the cell because we've had so many Hell in a Cell matches where nothing really happens or they just don't go outside. Like the whole point is like, oh, it's supposed to keep them contained in the cell. But then like the rivalry gets to that point where they even break out the cell and go further. I'm really hoping nothing against Shane McMahon. Like I know he's like, he loves his spots and all that stuff. And like, I'm not like wishing him to be hurt or anything. Uh, but what would be awesome is for Kevin Owens to do a pop-up powerbomb onto Shane McMahon through the cell like it's been a while since we've seen someone fall through but obviously because obviously like Mankind a lot but do like what they did when it was Mick Foley and Triple H like when he falls through just have that soft patch that like just breaks through the the uh the ring itself like that'll be pretty cool I think uh but I've gone for Kevin Owens to win this it's literally going to build up Kevin Owens I will beat up any McMahon possible um you know uh literally just making this like ultimate bastard heel uh that he should be and not like entertaining to the fans uh because that was the main problem i normally have with kevin owens is he's sort of like a funny heel like he knows how to get the people to like him but he's supposed to be like a heel which doesn't really work whereas a heel you're supposed to be looking to hate them uh speaking of which we've got jinder mahal the best heel there is actually um a bit too far with this rivalry it's gone over racism now which yeah, I get WWE like to be edgy, but there is a limit to how far you can go. Uh, so it's Jinder Mahal with the Singh Bros vs Shinsuke Nakamura in a singles match. This match would have been ideal for Hell in a Cell. One, it's the main fucking title. You know, it should be in Hell in a Cell match. Two, it will keep the Singh Brothers out because the, the whole point is Jinder Mahal has had the Singh Brothers by his side the whole time. The Pujabi Prison didn't fucking do anything. At least the Hell in a Cell could at least try something. But no, it's going to be a singles match, which, again, sucks. Um... They've won this thing. I would have gone with Shinsuke to win this, but because I got the India Tour coming up in December, it turns out, uh, I've gone for Jinder to retain again. Again, it's not been an interesting reign. 
the whole racism thing has made it a whole lot worse. Like, I would have been fine with Ginger as champion. Like, his first month was fine, where he's like, I do it for my people. But then when they changed it from, I do it for my people, to, I do it for my people because America sucks and America is racist. Uh, 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 uh. We've had too many foreign heels. That that gimmick is dead in whatever. Like, Rusev was fine a couple of years ago. But, you know, just going from, I do it for my people, to, we are better than America, and America is racist, blah, 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 whatever, you know. It's just like, sure, it's cheap heat and everything, but it just doesn't work. You know, to go from, I'm a man of my people, to, I hate all of you. But, but he's Canadian, not Indian. Well, he's an Indian Canadian, but that's not the whole point. Um, anyway, yeah, I've got Jinder to win that one. Uh, the New Day, um, with, it's going to be Big E and Kofi, obviously Xavier is still injured, so he can't wrestle, uh, would be t defending their tag team championships against the Usos in a Hell in a Cell match. This one has the most logic to it. They've had at least four matches for the title now, uh, that swap back and forth a couple of times. Um, and the best way to end the rivalry is to have some form of gimmick match. And Hell in the Cell is the ideal way to do it. Some people have been like, oh, you can't put them in Hell in the Cell. It's like, that's the whole point, though. We don't want this rivalry to continue. How would you finish it off? You make it a special type of match. Um, and the Hell in the Cell acts Hell in the Cell is the ideal way to do it. So, um, that's why I've, I've gone for... Ooh, who, who should I go? Because there's not that many tag teams. I think I'm going to go for the Usos because based on what tag teams we have left, I really want Chad and Shelton to be the next challengers for it. Um, like New Day can have their rematch on SmackDown and lose again, but I want Chad and Shelton to start building up to a title picture because again, the problem with the tag team division is between both brands, there's probably like nine tag teams and even then only like six of them are used like raw has four but obviously jeff's out injured they've got uh seth and dean jay zaro uh the good brothers rival are out injured and hardy boy well, um scott dawson's out injured of the revival and jeff hardy's out injured of the hardy boys so there's technically five i don't know if you can really count the mr Raj, like uh Bo and Curtis as well, so, um, and then SmackDown have New Day, Usos, Chad and Shelton, Hype Bros, and Fashion Police, so there's five on each side, and even then it's like Fashion Police aren't really used, there is the Ascension, I haven't seen them for weeks, so, mm. um, yeah, uh, what else have we got, we've got Natalia versus Charlotte Flair, I'm gonna go for Natalia to retain, you know, she can keep it for a little bit, um, like, I do, I don't know, it's like, with Charlotte, it's like, you can have her do something off the title for a bit, maybe, like, I get that she's sort of like, you know, uh, she's won the Royal Women's Tag Championship like, four times, she has to win the SmackDown one, um, but you know, it'll be interesting to have like, not, like, it won in not a singles match, if you know what I mean, like, the other possibility is Charlotte wins and... Carmella cashes in, but I'm not going to go for a Carmella cash in that. I think Natalia's going to win, uh, maybe due to a Carmella distraction or something. I don't know. Uh, but I've gone for Natalia to retain for this one. Uh, AJ Styles is a US champion versus Baron Corbin. Um, Styles to retain. Baron Corbin isn't really going anywhere. And also, a lot of people have been a bit bitter, like, oh, if Baron beats AJ Styles, what does that say about him as WWE champion? It's like, he could cheat to win. But I've still gone for AJ Styles. Um, I think if anyone's going to take the US title off him, it would probably be maybe Bobby Roode or Shinsuke if Shinsuke fails to capture the the title. Um, then we've got uh, Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler, another obvious choice. Bobby Roode, sort of the same as when Shinsuke came up. Dolph is there to take the first pay per view loss. It's weird because Bobby Roode's been on the main roster for like three months now and he's been used like five times and not like not to a not in a good way kind of just proves that whole some NXT people sh should want to stay down on NXT if you know what I mean like you really don't want to go to the main roster because it's like a 10% chance you'll actually be used in a good way there's probably been like two people that have 
and one of them is Kevin Owens. Uh, the other one, Seth. Well, that's the thing. Seth, obviously, has been used well. Kevin's been used well. Big E sort of took a while and he's now part of a tag team, which he's actually going somewhere. But, like, it wasn't originally his singles run that made him amazing. Um, yeah, like, it's it's one of those complicated things. It's sort of like, it's really slow. But, again, Bobby is going to win this one. The feud's over an entrance, which is another one. Like, it's that other weird feud thing, which is why I'm a bit miffed about most of these, a few of these matches. So, um, like... The Ginger and Shinsuke is based off race, which is a bit annoying. Um, the Hype Bros, Chan Shelton, is like, it's just there. Um, and then, <coughs> and then obviously, by Rune Dolph Ziggler, is over an entrance. And then finally, we've got Randy Orton versus Rusev. Uh, hoping it's not another 10 second match. Um, like, the build to it has been pretty entertaining, if I'm honest. So, obviously, Randy out of nowhere, be. Uh, Rusev in 10 seconds at SummerSlam. Rusev was pissed about that. A few weeks later, uh, Randy has a match with him in English wins. Rusev comes out, has another match with him in English destruction. Rusev wins in about 10 seconds as well. Then it has like some giant celebration about how he beat Randy Orton and has like the fucking Prime Minister or President of uh, Bulgaria out there with him. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go with Rusev for this one. Because if Aiden English happens to be in this corner, because Aiden English has been sort of allied, has sort of allied himself with Rusev over these past this past month or so, so I think Rusev's going to win due to Aiden English getting involved. So that is for my predictions. I got Chad and Shelton, Kevin Owens, Jinder Mahal, The New Day. No, I got the Usos. Sorry, not the New Day. I got the Usos, Natalia, AJ Styles, Bobby Roode, and Rusev. I will be making a video. Again, I noticed Bobby Roode is not in the game, so I'll have to go with someone else that's Canadian that's in there of whoever I've got. So I'll find someone that's similar, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video of my predictions. Uh, I will be watching it tonight. Uh, let me know what your predictions are in the comments, and I shall see you in the next one.